Hi, my name is Kayla. In ten point three, doing what's in like what I write in my math notebook. This is my math notebook. It's a one subject, seventy sheets wide ruled. It's yellow. I'm covering up my last name. Um. So I'm just gonna show y'all what's in it. What I write in it. So right here, I just show um our teacher. She um let's write um this username and password thing for www.sumdog.com so dot com so we can just look right here at our password and username to get in sundog my password is money 98 but i'm not going to show you my username so we flip it over have the first page i wrote this down january 17th 2012 and it was our problem of the day. We had to write answers to stuff. This is March 26. I do not write the dates in order. Like July can go all the way to March. So this is January 17th. Um, we were learning about the dollar signs and the cent signs. Which I already knew. Then January 18th, all I do is turn it. And it is. Just the problem of the day. Problem of the day. We have to count money. And stuff. Then on this side, um, it was January 18th, too. We just had to write the pattern that she she wrote it, and then we had to finish it. Um, we had to make problems like this, dimes, pennies, which I've already done forever. Like 60 minus 24. Seriously, that's 36. It's really easy. Then January 19th, it goes in order, but since... What is on my lip? It's like a hole is in my lip. Um, we go in order, but since like I didn't have enough like paper, um, because that was gonna be for a math vocab, so I had to start writing it in there to make it a full page. So March, January nineteenth, then March twenty seventh. This tooth is turning yellow. Like, y'all can, like, notice that. March 21st, not March 22nd. And so that keeps on going. All I'm going to show you what I did for my birthday. I'm going to cover up my birthday. I write my birthday. I always like to do that. So that day, I wrote the date so I can always see what I learned that day of my birthday. We learned about areas and we learned about perimeters. Which I would like to learn nothing more. Something more, so I had to write. And we do stuff like this when we're learning, like, say we're learning threes. We write down it in here so we can study. Okay, now I'm going to skip all of these pages. And this, it, ma it marks our, when our vocab starts. So if I go... Yeah, I do marker. I 
I can see right here vocab starts. Y'all cannot, it looks backwards to y'all. Yeah, I know. And so, then the next day, then the next time, there's my vocab. So, this is what our vocab looks like. It says polygon. Y'all can do this backwards. They don't put that in the comments. Like one girl did for one of my videos. It says polygon, sum, perpendicular, parallel lines. Add in congruent length, width. And then we have problem starting strategies and stuff. So let's say we want to learn about the sum. We would flip open the split. Let's say we want to learn about the polygon. So we open the polygon one. It looks like this. So right here it says Definition. A polygon is made up of, of no gaps or holes. And then it says polygon in the middle. It says non-examples. Because they're not finished. You can see they're not finished right there. There. They're not finished. It just doesn't look like they're finished. It doesn't look like they're not finished, but they are. See? And here are examples. But those are no examples. I put it way up to the screen. So that goes all the way down to right here. I just made a thing and said this is not math vocab, but I had to use, I had to write something about area multiplication, perimeter, and addition. So. And now it has add in congruent length width. So the width it glue, but it's coming off now. Um, that's just whenever I did the blah blah on the page and I covered it up, and it needs more glue. So the width, if you open that, has the same thing. And hmm, that's the end of the math vocab. But we didn't know that was in. But it is. This is the problem solving process. It says understand. Tells it says understand what you need to find out. Bracket the information needed. Cross out what you do not need. Plan. Act it out. Use logical reasoning. Draw a picture. Write. Write a number sentence. Look for a pattern. Make an organized list. Guess and check. Make and use a table, chart, or graph. Make it singular. Work bracketed information. Then solve. Use one of these strategies. Check. Did you answer the question? Is the answer reasonable? The reason why I'm going and guessing the words is because I'm reading backwards. <sighs> so... And then, since that was the end of that, I started, I didn't know, so I had to run the pages. This is what we do. We do the little lesson, and we use two picks for, like, equilateral, a sauce of keys. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. And so, we had three of those. And then I just used it for regular math journal. Sometimes I just doodle and draw random pictures, but this is shapes. I just do shapes. Um, now I'll show you a big doodle right here. One, two, three. Doodle. Now, this is a big old doodle. It's a red girl and... I wrote for a joke, redhead, because she has red hair, and she, red, I showed my friend, she has red hair, and, and she was like, <laughs> it was hilarious when I showed her it, because she was very mad at me. So, for today, and the pages look clean, 
Those are just some sums I wrote at the back, but they're really answers to a test. I'm kidding. Um, the only fun what I did today. Today, I had to write my sixes and sevens times and my eights. Today we were right, learning eight times. So I had to write that today. And today was our last day of math, I think. I'm sorry. I hate that. I hate that yellow. And so that's what it looks like. And then it starts off with blank pages, blank pages, more blank pages. And then right here, I wrote A14. A I don't know what that is. And on the back, blue, because I had the blue marker. And in case I lost it, I would know I had a blue one. It says my address, my name, my favorite color, the numbers that can get me. So, wait, don't need to show you that. Sorry. Um, so, that's my math journal. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Bye.